Okay, sweetie, why don't you go put your stuff in the car, huh? Cheryl, why am I hearing that you bought her a hippopotamus? No, oh, I know it was the only thing on her list, but that doesn't mean we give her whatever she wants. How much did it cost? We agreed on not going overboard. Was it on sale? Did you print out a coupon for the hippo? I don't know. I got her a littlest pet shop and some clothes she can actually wear to school. Just because it's a pygmy hippopotamus doesn't mean it's gonna stay little, Cheryl. I'm sorry I took her to mass, but you know, I did want her to realize that this holiday is about more than just getting whatever you want. Where are you even gonna keep it? The garage? Oh, well, it's a good thing you kept the house, huh? You know, I distinctly recall during parent-teacher conferences, you said that hippo would gobble her up but now you're fine with it, I guess. No, no, no. Signing up for horseback riding lessons is completely different than giving her a wild animal. No, I'm happy about your new job. I really am. But, uh, you know, I also know how you get when you get a whole new pot of money. Spare me. I know all about your lawyer. I'm sure you got him strangling animal control with red tape. You're still mad about Baxter? I had that dog before we even got married, and I didn't use him as a pawn in a twisted game for my daughter's affection. Yeah, well, drive safe. I'm not paying for any tires that thing eats.